Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch with a quick Blender tip. Now, if you've done sprite rendering from Blender, no doubt you've wanted to position the camera in a number of different angles. One of the probably most common things you're going to want to do is orbit the camera around your sprite. And one of the easiest ways to accomplish this is to actually do the other thing, and that is to rotate your sprite. However, if you have, or your model, uh, if you've got a complex light setup in your scene, though, this is obviously not ideal because as your object rotates, the lighting is going to affect it in different ways. What you actually want to do is orbit your camera around your model. Now, the first way you'd think to do this would be just to be to move and, uh, you know, reposition your camera and keyframe it as you go. But this actually is a bit of a pain because you need to uh, keyframe not only the Let's see the target, which you could do via constraints, the position and the rotation. It gets kind of awkward fast. Fortunately, there's actually a very easy but non-intuitive way to do exactly what we're talking about here, and that is using a path. Basically, parenting your camera to a path and having it orbit as a result. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this example. So here is my object that I want to render. Here is my camera I want to render with. And what we want to do is have the camera basically rotate around this object. So what we're going to do is switch into the front view here, like so. And I'm going to add a curve. Now, obviously, you could do whatever kind of path you want, but I'm going to do a circle. Uh, we're going to rotate that on the x-axis 90 degrees so it's parallel to us. And let's scale that sucker up. So basically, like so. Uh, now what I want to do is actually position this guy at the origin. Assuming my object was at the origin as well. And we're going to scale that a little bit more, like so. So now all we have to do is select our camera in the scene and then shift click, select the um, orbit we just created, do control P to parent it, and parent as follow path, like so. Now I'll switch over to my camera view, like this. You can see there is our path that we've got going on. Let's bring up a timeline, and press play. Ta-da! So now we are going to basically, our camera so if I switch back to a different view, you can see our camera is now following the path. And if you move the camera, so if you look over here now, uh, your camera is actually going to be parented under the Bezier curve. So you can move the camera to fine tune it. But if I move this circle, it will in turn bring the camera with it. So quick, easy way of uh, having your camera automatically orbit around an object, parent it to a curved object. Now the problem here is, this is exactly um, 100 um, frames long. So let's say if instead my animation sequence was 200 frames long. Like so, what you end up getting then, as this comes through, is it does its orbit and rotation, and then stops. So how do we control how fast this actually follows said path? Well, this is fairly simple. With the uh, Bezier curve active or selected over here, uh, go into the Data tab, which is this guy right here, and down here you can see Path Animation. So for example, here, instead of doing the 100 frames, which is the default, I can now switch that out to 200 frames, we're going to go twice as slow or half as fast, which depending on which way you want to look at it. Uh, but now we will use up our entire timeline. So if you go into like the curve editor, etc., there are no keyframes set here. This is how you control the speed of the uh, play animation. If you want to actually go ahead and control where the camera is looking, uh, that can also still be done via constraints, such as uh, the following. Uh, da, 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 what else could we look at? Uh, yeah, follow, track, camera solver, etc. So you can use these to actually track the targeting. So this is just controlling the position of the camera. But it's a nice way of quick and simply doing something like what we've just done here. So if I wanted to go ahead and make um, an animation here, so if I wanted to render this out, we are now going to get, um, you know, quick and easy sprite rendering done. Now I'm going to obviously have to position my camera a little bit better going forward so that it gets the... Uh, <laughs> entire sprite within the frame. That would just be done by moving the camera back a bit. Uh, but as you saw in this tip, um, setting the camera to follow a given path, no problem at all. Basically just uh, create the path you want to follow it, select the object of the, the, your camera, then select the path that you've just created, parent it and select it as follow path. And then here under the data tab of the Bezier circle selected, you can control, you can turn it off or on with this checkbox here, and the speed or the duration that the path following is going to be uh, right here. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, quick, straightforward video. Uh, that's about it for now. If you did, please, of course, do click like. And we got all kinds of tutorials here, um, news reviews, game engine reviews, you name it. Uh, if sounds good, please do hit that subscribe button. 
All right, that's it for now. See y'all later. Goodbye.